ephemeral that says, shout outs to my boy Clay. She puts the same amount of passion into these GDQ events than he puts in the years I knew him playing Guilty Gear and really puts his all into the marathons to try and raise as much money for the charities as possible. He has made an awesome addition to the GDQ team and he also speedruns my favorite series, so that's a plus. Shout outs to the Mile High Burst crew. This goes to Clay's Choice. We have a $60 donation from Mano Desu that says, my second time watching, ever watching live, and there's nothing better than watching AGDQ grinding some dungeons in Final Fantasy XIV in the process. $30 for Super Mario Sunshine Hoverless, and the rest can go to Reader's Choice. Hope to be able to go in person in one of these upcoming years. Okay, again, next is bonus game, Shovel Knight Low Percent Shovel Only by Munchakupas. Enjoy, and we'll be back soon. Once again, thank you to all the Castlevania runners for that amazing Castlevania block. I am Velociraptor42, and I will be hosting you for the next few games. Got a couple donations here. $50 from Keith F. I love what you all are doing. I can't think of a better way to spend my summer. Also, I would like to make a shout out to my mom who's been gone five years cancer free. I love you, mom. That's sweet. $50 from Anonymous. This is the first GDQ I have attended and it has been nothing but a blast. Such a great community for a great cause. I definitely agree. These guys are pretty awesome. Greetings OTDQ. <sighs> Excitement. Uh, the game is up. Yes. <laughs> hey, that's happening now. <laughs> okay, yeah, thanks. Already? I appreciate that. <laughs> Okay, um, this is Shovel Knight Low Percent. Uh, I am Munchakupas, and this is all I do. My friends are texting me, and I wish they would stop. <laughs> um, <laughs> but we love you, Muncha. <laughs> and I appreciate that. Um, so I will be only be using the shovel. I will not be buying any upgrades, no extra health, nothing. Um, the run is based entirely around damage boosting and creative uses of enemies. Uh, that's pretty much it. 
Yeah, it's a precision platformer uh, to the best uh, usage of that term. It's yeah. fantastic. <laughs> okay, okay, no worries. Um, Religion's back. Hi. If someone could let me know what my file name is going to be, that would be great. Like, oh, okay. Here? Okay. Hello. Can you guys hear us? We can hear you. Can you yes. hear us? Yes. Everything is Rescue and ready and to go. Rescue and Excitement. Cool. Okay. I already input purple, so that's good. Shoutouts to Grimelios. I lurk in your stream all the time, but I've never said anything. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but you you're a really good Ori runner. <laughs> I do not hear them at all. It's very low. Hey, oh. Yacht Club, you guys there? Shane? Yeah, hey. How's it oh, going? there you are. Yay, there Hello. it is. Volume sounds good. Okay, <laughs> great. This is awesome. So what color actually won the uh, bidding war? Uh, purple. They, purple did, yeah. Yeah, the uh, change color on screen transition did not get put in somehow, so we're not going to do that. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Um, just let me know when we can start. When we can do the thing. I mean, we're ready. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Let's get shoveling. Yeah. It's shoveling time. It's shoveling time. <laughs> it's always shoveling time. So, <laughs> obviously, this is Shovel Night made by Yacht Club Games. Uh, I can use my shovel to pogo off of things, break enemies, and objects in the terrain. Um, there's also a cool hidden mechanic called jump cancelling, which I'll have someone behind me explain while I do some stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, so basically um, when he is jumping, he uh, activates the shovel right afterwards at the right time, so it, um, he can jump without um, fully jumping. And that's uh, it's very helpful for uh, many parts in this game, including an area coming up very soon. What he's also doing is every time that he is starting movement from a complete standstill, you'll notice he'll do a short hop. It's because Shovel Knight actually uh, has a little bit of a ramp up if he just starts walking. But by jumping, we reach our maximum velocity pretty much right away. And also, we hate ladders. They're yeah. Really dumb. <laughs> uh, when you reach the top of a ladder, there's a special animation that plays that tells you you can jump off the top of it, which saves time over just... Uh, thank you, Slimes. Uh, it saves time over just walking up the top of it. And, and if you press left and right, it'll do a little butt wiggle. And so that was a bunch of jump cancels in a row. Um, and back there, you saw me break uh, two big dirt blocks in a row uh, with one shovel swing. That's because the air attack actually reaches a couple pixels farther than the ground attack. Yeah. And we'll use that a couple times to just get through an area faster. Also, shout out to the music of this game. It is one of my favorite soundtracks of any video yeah, game ever. That's fantastic work. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's Bert. He's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, you can actually read a couple donations if we have any until I get to the boss. Actually, wait, never mind. That's two screens away. <laughs> my bad. Be <laughs> getting where he was. Um, the and slide that... movement is random. Yeah, exactly. So. Oh well. Slimes are one of the worst RNG one, uh, enemies in the game. So, we're coming up on the first boss, yeah, Black Brock. Knight, <laughs> and we're going to stun lock him, hopefully. And that was perfect. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was Black Knight. We will see him again later in this game. Usually you would encounter him three times, but we will only be fighting him twice. Yeah, and each time that we fight him, that window for him to actually get that stun lock gets a little bit smaller and smaller. Yeah. So the fa that was the easy one. And he will also have a lot more health the next time we encounter him. Yeah. And now it's very important that we go to the village. We must talk to this guy. It's very important. Ready, set, talk. Good talk, bro. Later. <laughs> <laughs> So this is one of the differences between the low percent route and the any percent route. Uh, we go to Pride More Keep second in the low percent route because we don't care about having to come back to the village at any point. 
Um, at some point in the any percent route, we'll come back to buy relics, but we don't care. So I have a quick question for the guys from Yacht Club. Uh, how long sure. do you think that so, was going to take for a full, uh, I guess, this low percent category to actually be done? Did you ever think it would be something that people would really work at? I mean, a low percent is like, that's a really difficult thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's no not kidding. really how, how we intended the, the game to be done. Yeah, I mean, we, we definitely had speed running in mind uh, right. as we were going through. Like, we made sure that, that most everything was skippable. Um, at, just to kind of cut the slow parts out. But as far as doing a low percentage run, I mean, <laughs> you know, we made it so you could skip the meal tickets, uh, you know, at the campfire scene. We wanted it yeah. to be possible for you to attempt it. Um, well, but nothing requires the relics, right? Right, yeah, no, nothing, yeah, nothing is required. So you can do it, like, low percent. And, and that was, in, I guess that was intended, but actually accomplishing it is, is crazy. <laughs> Especially New Game Plus, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, we didn't, we didn't imagine that anyone would necessarily be able to do that. Yeah, Muncha is kind of crazy. He started I, doing that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, something that you might notice on stream is when I take damage, I might disappear or turn solid and move through enemies. That's just because of the way the game flickers and the way it runs. Yeah, yeah, it's running at 60 frames per second, so uh, a lot of the compression stuff for, for streaming usually cuts out the, the on and off frames. And jump once, jump twice. Oh no, oh well. That's all right. <coughs> so in these rooms that we're seeing here, we have the lava that's falling. This is an example of what's called local cycles. So as soon as Muncha enters the room, the lava starts falling at a consistent rate. Um, so we can definitely time very easily how we can get through that room. Later on, there's also examples of what's called global cycles, which is for the entire level. Um, we'll see that in a little bit. Uh, and coming up, though, we're going to have King Knight, who is super pompous. And very regal. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Because of the uh, ceiling there, um, he can bounce on top of him at the top. Oh, man. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. You get a lot of extra hits. I messed it up a little bit, of course, but uh, that main setup was found by Busta Wolf, another Shovel Knight runner. I wish you were here, buddy. I miss you. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> it's quite incredible how much the community has come together to just break this game. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's, it's the best. We love seeing it. It's we really the best. We, we got to meet Busta Wolf at, yeah, uh, yeah. at uh, PlayStation Experience. The PlayStation thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. That was really cool. Yeah, I mean, it was it was an honor for us, you know. And I think Shane, you check out a lot, check out a lot of the actual like streams that you've been in. Oh yeah, I talked to Shane quite a bit. <laughs> oh, who am I talking to on the dev team, by the way? Just so I know. Oh, sorry. Yeah, um, this is Waz, and uh, yeah, this is Sean. What uh, Waz does the pixel art of the game? Oh yeah, oh, beautiful art. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I do like game design, design, direction. Okay, uh, in this level the main enemies are skeletons that just walk back and forth, and frogs. Frogs are jerks? Yeah, the frogs are random if they're awake. Yeah, they have three jump lengths and three jump heights, and will randomly electrocute themselves. So, or electrify, I suppose. Uh, and they are really, really strong RNG in this game. Um, what we also saw with that giant skeleton is an example of a mechanic that we're going to use a lot. Um, with enemies, when you are damaging them, you can actually pass through their hitbox without taking damage. <coughs> so for that skeleton, we see that, and there's also a boss that we're going to encounter later on where we abuse that mechanic a lot. And I guess if we have any yeah. donations, you can go ahead and read some if you want. <laughs> yeah, we've got maybe a couple here. Maybe. Um, <laughs> we've got a hundred bucks from the Taiwan Ninja. Yeah! What's up, yeah. Taiwan? Hey, Muncha. Good luck on the run. May Jeremiah finally be your friend and Steve be based. <laughs> and I ran right into Jeremiah, the first frog of the game, so... <laughs> well, there you go. Putting this to leaving the knights to die, unless King is the first knight. You can always save King if he's the first knight. <laughs> what is it with you guys and King Knight? <laughs> it's amazing. We have $150 from Failware. Had to donate during the Shovel Knight run. The run in AGDQ got me back into the style of platformer after a long hiatus. Thanks for a great game, Yacht Club, and good luck, Munchakoopas. You're welcome. Oh, awesome. That's, awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. That was a really subtle little damage boost you got in there. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, damage boost was discovered by a Zulag, our route guy. He discovered a lot of tricks in this game. I also wish he was here if you're watching. Hi, buddy. <laughs> 
Did you guys think that there was going to be such a big community that kind of sprouted up around this game when you were making it? Or is it just kind of that no, happy surprise? That's, that's definitely a surprise to me. I mean, we were, I would say we were hoping, right? Because right. it's like we, like we grew up playing games like this, like we, you know, like getting, getting Super Metroid under an hour was yeah. like something I did <laughs> like so much, uh, like it, when I was a little bit younger. And it's and we tried to make it so speedrunners would so it would be something that would be palatable to speedrunners. But right. of course, like we could have never expected such an amazing, awesome outpouring of support from from so many cool people. So yeah, that was I mean that was surprising and just wonderful. So Specter Knight here, uh, when he first uh, goes to the other side of the room, he always goes to cross the room. Yeah, that, really good. that is the yeah. optimal yeah. movement. But it's uh, random after that, so we got a good pattern there. Yeah, really, really good pattern and nicely done. I could get used to the applause. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just give you a clap track. <laughs> oh, so this is the first of the three dreams that you can't skip. Uh, Shield Knight will just fall from the top of the screen after a certain amount of time, and you're supposed to catch her. But it's actually faster to just die, so <laughs> I'm going to die. These deaths don't count towards the uh, deaths in the run, by the way. <laughs> It's a dream. <laughs> yeah, yes. so they don't count. It didn't really happen. Is this real life or is this just fantasy? No, this is just a dream. <laughs> <laughs> so he's timing it so he gets hit by the uh, slash of the skeletons to take a full heart of damage here. And he got right in the center. That's perfect. That was really good. Yep. Good. So you're still going to catch her. <laughs> yeah, if you catch her, it saves two full seconds. Oh, wow. Even if it's only your corpse that's catching her? Yeah. Yep. All right, Duck Knight, be nice to me. Quack, quack, quack. We call the enemy on the map Duck Knight because they look like ducks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so exactly. You so kindly provided us with actual names for the enemies and we ignored them. <laughs> they were a long time coming. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this level is based on global cycles. You'll see that later. So I want to play kind of okay throughout the first few rooms. Kind of okay? Yeah, you know, just okay. It's also really nice is some of the enemies have exact patterns that we're going to see every time. So these green rats that we have here are always actually going to try and jump over you when you approach them. So we can actually abuse that to just walk right under them and ignore them. Like that. Just waiting for this global cycle. Another damage boost. When you take damage, you bounce in the opposite direction you're facing, so you have to turn around like at just the right time. So these are the pots that are on the global cycle. So no matter when you get to them, yeah. their cycle has been determined from the beginning of the level. <laughs> Nicely done. And then here's coming a boss that for some reason has 23 hits to kill. We still don't know why. Yeah, why is that? Anyone? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, actually, I actually looked up the commit for this where it was changed to 23, and it was just like a comment. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody really liked Blink-182. He's, he's, he's a guy that you just need to learn to bounce off of, and if, you, if there's too few hits, then you would kill him. I imagine he probably had 30, and we said, oh, that's too many. And then, I think it was like 22. And then we brought it, yeah, then we brought it down to like 20, and it's like, oh, that's too, like, that's too few. And then we just settled there. That was really good. Ladder scoop. That's the one spot in the game. You, you know, everywhere else, there are collisions placed, so you can't jump up out of the world. Like, they're hand placed um, yeah. in every room. And there, I couldn't put the collision there because you would you could bump your head yeah. if you bounce on that ferry, and it, it just wouldn't have worked. So it was like, well, nobody will, like in normal games, nobody, <laughs> nobody, will, nobody will find that. You know? <laughs> Let's just That's leave fine. it. I also like that Muncha just is in such of a habit of grabbing money that even in the low percent route, he's still just jumping and grabbing all the gems. <laughs> there is a damage boost right there to get up on that potion, but I decided not to go for it. And now we're coming up on Plague Knight, which is gonna be a lot of focus. Yeah, I need that Yeah. Because movement is fairly random, but there's a lot you can do to control it. Ah. 
Yeah. Oh, well done. Thank you. So Plague Knight will usually try to jump over you uh, whenever he is finished with his initial attacks. So we'll kind of set that up to our advantage and make sure that we are jumping with him, just little short hops to try yeah. and hit him along the way. He's a nightmare in New Game Plus, yeah. especially low percent New Game Plus, which I have done two <laughs> runs of for some strange reason. How long did that take you? Uh, an hour and 39 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Didn't even get the speed run achievement. <laughs> okay. Normally you would go to the water level, but because Rise, the enemy that just spawned on the map, can move and block you, I decided to go to this level because I actually want splits. Yeah. There's a setup that Muncha come up, came up with actually in the very next room that it still boggles my mind that he figured it out. No. No. Okay. This is the first of two auto scrollers that are in the level, but we are. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. So you may remember from uh, last run you saw, they did this with a phase lock. You have to skip through this. Yeah, it's much it doesn't like it. That's slow. <laughs> <laughs> so much you came up with that, so you're crazy. A little bit. Uh, I guess we can ask more questions of the devs for a little bit, because the rest of the, this level is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, one thing I had was, if you guys were to start running a category, which do you think you'd want to do? Oh, us personally? Yeah. Uh, Get out I of my know, way. I've never really done one, so maybe just in any percent, just like trying to figure that out. You mean play it yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Or do you mean inventing a new category? You know, playing yourself. <laughs> what would you want to try and learn? Oh. I think, I think I would do any percentage. Like, I feel like that's the most pure, uh, like that's like the most pure way to do a run, right? It's like using all the, all the tools that the game has available to get through it just as quick as humanly possible. Right? Yeah. yeah. New Game Plus is pretty good for that too. Oh, yeah, definitely. New Game, I, I honestly, I feel like New Game Plus is like frustrating for me when I play <laughs> through it, like, uh, and don't try to get a lot of stuff. Yeah. So I'd probably do, like the, I can blaze through the, the first game Pretty easily, so I, I think I would go with that. Yeah, nice little Gotta play here. strengths. Bloop. You know, like the office's best time. Um, without restarts, I think the the fastest time is like like one hundred three. I forget who who was. Maybe Ian did that. No, but before we released the game, it was definitely it was under an hour. <clears throat> it was like you know really? probably yeah. I think I think. Yeah, I want to say it was like in the 50, it was like in the 50 minute range, you know, and we didn't really try to seriously like destroy the game. I want to say it was 50 or 55. That's crazy fast. Yeah, that's super fast. Maybe that's too fast. I think that might be too fast. Again, I want to say it was, a, I want to say it was under an hour, but I could be wrong on that. Oh, uh, the birds didn't want to behave. Nope. Whoa. They went the wrong uh, place. So well. Oh, using those birders is like so nerve wracking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's three different setups for that room. Unfortunately, I missed all of them, but that's okay. okay. And <laughs> here we have Mole Knight. So you oh, notice when he's flying through, Munch is getting two hits in on him there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. Wow, nice with the spark. Oh, wow. <laughs> The moles will not go hungry tonight. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> They're not going to eat them. <laughs> oh. Well, now you tell us. <laughs> so once again, jumping immediately, even at the campfire, just to save that little section of time. And now we get Iron Whale, which has, some, again, some of the best music in the game. This and uh, Explodatorium's uh, soundtrack were both worked on by uh, Manami Matsume, which is actually, she was one of the composers for Mega Man. That was a... Uh, what was that? Yeah, she came to PAX in Seattle and hung out with us, and like we, like we went to dinner, and like she signed autographs at the booth, and it was absolutely cool. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> played a concert too. Jake. Yeah, she played a show with Jake. Yeah, I've seen <laughs> the YouTube video of that. It's really, yeah, really awesome. It was to watch. really cool. It was insane. That's There's... amazing. 
there's a picture there's a picture of me and her and I'm like I, I just got done like dancing like crazy to her show and I'm like completely drenched in sweat with like this dumb grin on my face and, she, and she's just has like she has such a like oh my god who is this weird guy <laughs> like expression yeah. so don't blink in this next room because you'll miss what happens no the next one no this one that <laughs> Taking damage so we can survive the spikes. <laughs> so we're coming up on the fish mini boss. He's a bit of a troll. A bit? A little bit. <laughs> and when we actually fight him, he will take 12 hits to kill, which is uh, dependent on his position on the screen, whether or not I get to kill him in one cycle or not. You can poke with the, the chest, but that's very unsafe. You're way up there. Oh, come on, you jerk. There you go. Nice. Hmm. Oop. So on this next screen, I'm going to damage boost, and you have to hold up right because this manta ray doesn't care what direction you're facing. Bloop. Don't blink. Did you blink? Yeah. <laughs> and watching all these levels, uh, with the original layout is really weird, for, at least for me, because we've been working on the update content and, and the layouts are different. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to get better. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anchor skip. That is very, very hard to get correct. That was there are, what, 87 different ways to do that skip? Yep, I've spent a lot of time in that room figuring out how to do that. <laughs> Anchors are slow. So now we come to Treasure Knight. He's, in my opinion, the most dangerous boss of really any category. Yeah. You can kill him up there, but I don't want to because then he'll float back down to the bottom of the level, which takes a lot of time. My favorite part of Treasure Knight is that he has an attack that just steals your money. Yeah. And <laughs> give it to me. And uh, we can go ahead and read some donations during this next stream if you want. Sounds good. Got quite a few, actually. So we got a $50 donation from Dave225 that just says, For Shovelry! Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. We got $100 from Jemani. Shout out to Muncha, a.k.a. Gravedigger, and all the other <laughs> Shovel Knight speedrunners. You guys rock. <laughs> oh, that, that's a running meme in the community. <laughs> oh, that's, that's not what I wanted, but that's okay. Ooh. So ideally, I just get hit by the potions and stuff. Um, and I don't even catch her in this dream, and it still ends up being faster, but that's okay. Still got the catch. So the game is broken up into sections of three levels. We've gone through the first two. Now comes, I think, arguably the best section of three levels. I think this is also your favorite, right, Mantra? Yeah. I don't know what possessed me to do the water level and then the ice level in that order, but I did. But this is my favorite because it's the most active of low percent. There's very few screens where I'm just holding right and doing nothing else, and you'll see what I mean. There's also a lot of damage boosts the later I get into the level, so health is very important, and there's very little places to replenish health. Watching this is still unbelievable to me. <laughs> well, I didn't think that would work because I bonked on the wall. That's okay. I'll just wait. You can actually make this cycle if you don't jump off the ladder and just walk a couple steps and then bounce off the left of that mage. Um, it's a very hard jump, so I'm not surprised I missed it, but that's okay. 
for the jump cancel. Oh, there we go. Another question that I had actually for the developers, um, kind of going away from speedrunning, but actually asking about casual playthroughs, is there anything that you've seen a lot of people miss with their first playthrough that you wish they would kind of catch the first time around? And we, you know, we had the beta go out to maybe maybe like 200 people in the, in the beginning before we released the game initially, yeah. and there were so many things that that everyone had issues with immediately that we had to fix, <laughs> and so I feel like we got most of those big ones. Like for instance, initially you couldn't go back to the levels once you'd completed them, yeah. because we were like, well, we don't want people grinding for gold, you know, if they're not a if they're not a super skilled player. Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That damage boost was found by a Zulag, our route guy. Again, he comes up with like all the tricks in this game. He's like, why do you do this thing? Guy. Yeah, the route guy. <laughs> it's like, you need a route? <laughs> you call for the route guy. Um, I catch a casual stream sometimes, and you'd be amazed how many people inadvertently potentially like, do low percent. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I would say, if anything, I think Specter Knight is like a really big difficulty spike. Initially, Specter Knight was going to be like the seventh boss, uh, and we and we ended up rearranging the levels all around. Yeah. That's actually uh, a question I had because I've seen, I think, concept art of a map that had Propeller Knight's level uh, second, along with Kings. Is there? Yeah, that, yeah, that's okay. right. Yeah, and then we and we ended up pulling back on it because Propeller Knight was a level full of wind and spikes and just murder. And we thought Spectre Knight's level was a little bit easier. So we I, we pulled back on the battle. I mean, we made the decision like pretty early in development. Yeah, it wasn't too far. But still, I feel like some of Spectre Knight's, uh, just some of the concepts in there are tough, right? So it's yeah. it's like, it's kind of what separates players, right? Like if you get to Spectre Knight and if you finish that, then you can kind of like get the rest of the way through the game. Basically. Yeah. So Polar Knight is again using that, uh, damaging the, to pass through his hitbox. Yeah, I love doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> oh, good. 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 Yeah, so on that same subject, I've seen a lot of new players um, just really not use their relics enough. Like, they'll buy them and then not even use them. So if you're new to this game and having trouble with it, don't forget about your relics. They're very powerful. Yeah, particularly... yeah, we put them in there for definitely for players to help them out. Um, so, like the first one you get is a ranged weapon, right? Like that's mm -hmm. that's what the shovel knight definitely needs. Right. Like and that. then something to avoid damage and spikes. Like you yeah. know, much like the uh, like the items in Mega Man, like item one, two, and three. It's like these items that help you kind of cheat your way through some part of the stage that's too tough for you. But it's more complex to do, it, right? So we we tried <laughs> to put it in front of the player as much as possible and to make the relic seem really. Important. Yeah, it's, a, it's kind of, a, I think, a lot to get. So Clockwork Tower is one that has a couple of rooms that will, if the game wants you to, just kill you. Um, you guys <laughs> see what you mean here a little bit. Yeah, it does have my favorite music, too. I'm going to wait. Yeah, that's a great song. such a good song. Normally I wouldn't wait there, but... Coming up on the, the guy first. always hits me no matter what. I've never avoided him. <laughs> That's why there's three ladders. <laughs> I know, but even no matter what, I always hit him. Like... So right here, this room is completely random. I want these, well, I call them missiles, but they're actually sign daggers. Um, I want them to spawn so that they'll damage boost me as soon as possible. So it's just something you have to deal with if you run low percent. This is the room that will kill you, and I wish it were not in the game, but that's not my choice. <laughs> it's also why we all hate the daggers. I think you've seen wow, up that was to, super what, nice. 18 in <laughs> yeah, that room? Yeah, I've seen 18 at once. I saw, I entered the room, four came at me from the right, then four came at me from the left, then four more came at me from the right again, and at infinium. <laughs> and then you started to cry. And this is a giant auto-scroller, so if we have more donations. And we're walking. Yeah, all right, we got some here. We've got $9.41 from NKB. Yeah. Shout outs to NKB. I'm digging the run so far. <laughs> Shovel Knight is a real Boo. gem. And if you haven't played it, it's dirt cheap on Steam. Boo. <laughs> Low percent takes a lot of skill, but luckily Muncha has that in spades. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's do our best to bury these guys in donations and remember, help me, help me, help me. <laughs> 
<laughs> Shout out to MKB. <laughs> Whack a way up. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Again, another Azu lag trick. If it's something funky like that, it's probably Azu lag that came up with it. Okay, another auto scroller. Uh, just before you read donations, real quick, this ladder is a very prob or a big problem because if the missiles spawn too high, you actually can't climb it at all. But now you can feel free to read some donations. Sure thing. Got a hundred dollars from Fast B. I've been psyched for this shovel knight run all week. I'm watching. I still don't believe it can be done. Great job, Mecha or Muncha Koopas. Sorry <laughs> about you. that. It's all good. Mecha Koopas. <laughs> Mecha Koopas too. <laughs> Great job for them. Got fifty dollars from Zero Z Shadow. Awesome runs again this year. Enjoying the Shovel Knight run. Here's to hoping I get to see the Pajama Percent run. <laughs> There's a ten dollars from Anonymous. Hi guys, loving the Shovel Knight run. I teach games design here in the UK, and my students and I played through parts of this game as part of their education. All of the students <laughs> gave me. That's crazy. That's cool. <laughs> All of the students gave the game massive amounts of praise, and some even took notes from it in order to come up with mechanics for their own games. Thank you so much, Yacht, for making this amazing game, and thank you so much, Muncha K, for playing through it. Oh, wow. that's awesome! Huge praise. You'll notice this fight is much different from any percent, as <laughs> we do not have the gear and we don't get to one-shot him. Yeah, anyone interested in like studying level design in games, definitely recommend this game. For sure. There's excellent, excellent level design throughout this game. <laughs> oh. Scary robot. <laughs> Big scary robot. Nice. Now the next level has the boss I think is probably your favorite, right Muncha? It is my favorite boss because he is mine. <laughs> Muncha came up with a quick kill for it. Busta came up with the original uh, setup for it and Muncha kind of made it his own. And it's truly impressive to watch. You'll see it here in a little bit. How difficult would you say Propeller Knight's supposed to be? Uh, how, how hard is he supposed to be? Yeah. You know, the battle, the battle was always weird because I, you know, I generally dislike it when a boss is not hit, right? Like when you have to watch the pattern happen three times and then they get dizzy and you just hit them once and you have to just repeat it. Yeah. You know? And so, so when, when the characters in Shovel Knight do that, we tried to make it so they're hittable somehow, right? Like Propeller Knight goes up high, but you can still kind of get him with the anchor or, or if you're good, you can, you can go up there and still knock him around, you know? Uh, so... The pits, I think, are, are kind of the dangerous part of that stage, uh, or sorry, of that battle. And Propeller Knight himself isn't that hard, like, nine times out of ten people fall down the pit. Uh, but if you have mastery of it, then you can take him out pretty quickly. But once again, I mean, the speeds that, that you guys put together for this stuff is just so, it's just so outside of what our expectations <laughs> were. But, I mean, it's just, well, it makes for great theater, you know, it's so cool to watch. You guys have been super supportive of the speedrunning community around this game. It's been really awesome to see. You know, basically, there's a big patch that you guys released that I would refer to as the speedrunner patch that yeah. eliminated some overworld RNG, gave us some consistency in places, and it was really awesome to have a developer listening that closely to the community. So thank you very much. Yeah, yeah you're super welcome. I mean, it brings us it brings us great joy uh, just to experience something like this. You know, it's like you uh, we want to make it for for people to enjoy themselves, and so if we can help just a little bit, well, you've helped a lot of it. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, RNG can be really frustrating. It can be like also like the spice of a certain run. So like we didn't Oops. want to remove all of it. But, yeah, um, it is pretty cool to see like like something like the map stuff that just like yeah, completely ruins the map around. out. Right. Yeah, that was a big one. That was be nice. Oh, man. Nice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so those three, uh, what are called propeller meanings, can really be quite evil. Um, that skip is very, very tough to do. So kudos to Muncha for that. We like to call them Jawas. Oh. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Come on. They sort of look like the journey guy to me, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm. Oh. 
Go away. <laughs> I don't want you here. <laughs> Just wants to love you, Munchin. So, just when you thought the propeller rats were gone, they're back. I just have to hope they go to the right spot. They kind of did, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it works. And there we go. Challenge the wind, live a life of no regret. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, no, you want, oh, man, watch how he does this. This is really heart stopping <laughs> for people who are just playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> this one's even worse. <laughs> nice again. So throughout this entire level, there's a relic that you can get called the Propeller Dagger. Normally, that allows you to just kind of shoot forward without losing height. And the fact that he does not have that, Muncha just kind of makes his own. And here we go with Propeller Knight. Ah, uh, you can uh, keep pogoing him up there, but... That's close. That works. <laughs> Ideally, he would have been able to pogo Propeller Knight where he was up in the top left corner. Mm -hmm. uh, for a while, we didn't know what made him go left or right, because uh, he flies away after you deal eight damage to him. But doing that, I discovered that if you delay the start of that second set of six hits, uh, if you delay it right before he stabs at you, he goes left. Otherwise, he goes right. I really don't know why. Oh, strange. That's so weird. <laughs> that's yeah, that's right. not like that's part of the design. There's no, there's no sentence that says, you know, at, at right. frame 85 go right and at frame 86 go left. But oh, man. I thought that was just... It says he jumps over the things and stabs at you. That's what it says, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a really crude drawing of a stabby guy. And that was the final dream sequence. So now we're going to go to uh, the Tower of Fate. It's comprised of three different levels, and you'll see enemies and objects from uh, all the previous levels in it. And it's designed to be a gauntlet of platforming. Yeah, while the first level of Planes is really great at introducing you to all the basic mechanics of the game, both for speedrunning and for just casual play, the Tower is to test all the stuff that you've been working on throughout your playthrough. It's a really, really great way to sandwich how the, the game is laid out. These pogo setups are something discovered by a zoo lag again. <laughs> Someone else I really need to thank for low percent is uh, Explode Your Ear, mm -hmm. the other low percent runner. He also has a sub 50 in this time. My world record is 48 minutes 30 seconds, and he's about a minute behind me. Um, but he's doing the French restream right now, and the, the run would not be what it is without him, too. So thank you, Explode. And these rats are random, so I have to reset the room. That's annoying. Yacht Club, please fix. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's been really awesome to see all the different runners coming together to make the, the various categories just super improve. You've seen like Explode do stuff in this, but also Busta, Engage, everyone has been super collaborative in yeah. terms of Oh, up uh, the Taiwan Ninja, the guy who donated earlier, has mm. the world record for New Game Plus. Oh, I'm yes. jumping right here to spawn a bubble over on the right, but uh, New Game Plus is actually below 40 minutes now, and it's all thanks to him. He's really good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> the cycles are yeah. so, so scary. <laughs> Those of you who have OCD, look away. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not gonna get it. <laughs> uh, the propeller dagger makes that a lot easier. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what that? Or waiting makes it a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is an explode trick. Nicely done. One more time. Oh well. You can get up there, but it's extremely hard to do. It's a pixel Please don't kill jump. me. Okay. <laughs> I'm so nervous for you. <laughs> 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 I'm all clenched up. 
This room plays out almost identically aside from these first three enemies every time you play it. So, mind you, I do need to still be careful. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> Putting it in there, I was yeah, I was very aware of like how it's gonna mess. <laughs> so, sorry, not sorry. Just like, uh, <laughs> just like bubble band Ooh, no. in, into yeah. that just like kills streams. Okay. Yeah, it does. <laughs> you can make that without stopping with a, the right jump setup, but sometimes the Jawa just does not like you. Ugh. Now we encounter Black <laughs> Magic. Now Enchantress will kill him for me. Thank you, Enchantress. So he's Aww. gonna try to do the same thing he did in the first fight, but it's far more. Oh, he's precise. alive. Oh. JK. Oh well, I missed the stun lock, but that's okay. Yeah, it's a much smaller window. This is probably the most challenging fight for me. Oh, nice. Yeah, Interrupting those fireballs. Nicely seems... done. Okay. okay. I'm that... still happy with that because I got to show off like the mechanics of the fight. Yeah. Then it still looks kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> As you were saying, that window for him to get that stun lock is significantly smaller going from the first fight to this one. Yeah. He wants to dodge a lot in this. Well, after two, he likes to dodge. So annoying. <laughs> Oh, there is a uh, bid war going on for Save or Leave the Knights. Uh, I don't know when that was cut off, but if it has not been cut off, I will tell you when. It's coming up at the end of this level when I hit the uh, last checkpoint, which I will let you know right before I get there. I believe it's like five cents to, or no, 105 cents to, whatever. <laughs> I think rescue is in the lead. By a lot. <laughs> and if that's the case, this is a new category. <laughs> I take damage there intentionally. Yeah. More of the slimes that are evil. Hey, if you're curious, yeah, our rescue is in the lead, 561 to 320. Oh, Thank I, you. It's a lot closer than oh, I thought. Oh. Uh, this, I need this, this yeah. room. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> he got it. Well, this room is rough on any percent. Yeah, this is a really big difference from uh, any percent because usually you would just use the propeller blade and fly over the entire part of uh, this yeah. level. Don't care, goodbye. <laughs> nice and done. Thank you. Auto scroller. Yeah, if we have any donations, go ahead and read them now. Sounds great. Yeah, thirty dollars from Adoc. I would just like the devs to know that I finally decided I needed this game after seeing it run at AGDQ. Not only do we love Shovel Knight, but we also love seeing developers on stream supporting such great projects as this. Absolutely. Here's to a sequel. Call it Spade Lady. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for the donation. Yeah. And we have an update that's coming out really soon, and it's going to be free. Oh yeah. So get, yeah, you can get excited for that. It's like a pseudo sequel a little bit. Yeah, we're working our butts off, and it's called uh, Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows. You're going to be able to play as Plague Knight. Yeah. Um, and it plays way different than Shovel Knight. Everything that you learn here is, like, not going to transfer over. Yeah, I was saying, I was saying like, the stage layouts, looking at them in, in Shovel Knight version. <laughs> he's spawning above the blocks. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the blocks aren't actually there until they're on, on the screen, so we can just kind of run by them. Uh, and that rat has no idea what's going on right now. He's so confused. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Okay, the checkpoint for the boss rush is coming up, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be rescuing them anyway. He also yep. picked up a convenient wall chicken off screen there. Mm -hmm. Now we play uh, slots. Oh. Turkey bomb bomb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome to the main event. Yeah, Hello, Propeller Knight. Nom nom. So the fights in this are very similar, but still slightly different. Um, this one's actually not going to be too different than the original fight. Bye! Wow. 
<laughs> yeah, our Polar Knight will always be in the first three. Other than that, it's mostly random. Uh, there are some orders I don't want, but you just have to deal with it. Yeah, we made Polar Knight in the first uh, in the first section just because dying on the spikes at the end sucks so much. Yeah. <laughs> You'll also see me realigning myself in the middle of the level. That's just because I'm used to starting on the left. And also, in case I need the food, I want to be right next to it. So you'll notice because there's no ceiling, he isn't able to get that same pogo onto King Knight for that quicker kill. But that was still super fast. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in the corner. Oh. Yeah, and you notice that he paused a bit before he did the bounce off the wall, otherwise you can't actually set that up correctly. Yeah. Tinker. It's interesting that this little uh, fight that's kind of meant to be a bit of a joke fight is one of the harder ones because it's a little hard to predict in the speed run here. Yeah, exactly so. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> now it's time to save everyone. Oh, why? All these frames. I really like it when Tinker Knight's first, because then he's just, everyone's hanging off of the little guy. <laughs> <laughs> This has been deathless so far. I might die on this boss. <laughs> no, you won't. You got no, it. I won't. I, yeah, it'll be okay. <laughs> you never know. We believe oh, there are two bosses at the end of this level, by the way. Spoilers, come Spoilers. on. Spoilers. Hey, you were going to find out anyway. Every time, man, I always... Oh. <laughs> Just lots of jumping here. And now we're golden. Every All right. new player always goes Smile very Smile for the camera, here. SGDQ. Ah. Uh... <laughs> 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 All right, we got it. <laughs> Basically, hold right for 18 seconds. And here's the Enchantress. Oh, uh, early dives. 
Oh, there's a strat where you bounce under the level and get a quick kill on her, but I need her to be at 6 health or lower. So, unfortunately, I can't go for it, but that's okay. It'll still be pretty fast. She's kind enough to give me my floor back, so thank you, Enchantress. We were kind of hoping that as we're making this, there, I guess in the any percent category, that there would be a, a fishing strat. <laughs> <laughs> we tried. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's the first fight. Okay. Spoiler alert. Oh my god, I had no idea. Surprise shield man. <laughs> Bob your head for chicken fries. <laughs> <laughs> You'll notice here, uh, shield knight's either going to jump to the right or left, and that is the way that she will end up jumping uh, after the first fireball phase. Scary boss. And time is going to be on last hit. Mm -hmm. oh, he's got oh, yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> that was a very satisfying stomp. I didn't stop it. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> All right. Yeah, sub 50. Nice. A minute off world record. That's good. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Congrats, Matra. Wow. Um, okay, the game is saved. Uh, do I have time to show off the glitch I wanted to show off? If not, it's cool. <laughs> it's a glitch. I want to see it. Yeah. Is it, <laughs> is it glitch? <laughs> Can we see it? Go ahead. Okay. Let me just close yeah. the window and reopen it. Yeah, as much as I absolutely <laughs> love the credit scene in this game, it would be nice for speedrunning if there was a way to skip it. <laughs> yes. Uh, one other thing to note is that the end game timer is actually very accurate. So 49.27. Okay, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jerk. So I have to get to the end of this level. And then the fun begins. Propeller dagger. Ho. Also, Taiwan, if you're still watching, I'm sorry that all the New Game Plus strats will not be done correctly. <laughs> not even kind of. Can I go through a few donations while you're going through the stage? Is yes. That like, yes. Okay, My cool. apologies. <laughs> Got $50 from the man Eunice. Eunice! Hey, Munch of Koopas. This is the man Eunice wishing you good luck on your run. Donation goes to your choice. That was Dust Force. Super secret hard level. <laughs> Shoutouts to Def in Italy. Got $50 from Kelbesk. Beetle skip for life. <laughs> <laughs> Kelbesk discovered one of the uh, beetle skips in uh, Lost City. I had to think about the name. $50 from Kilimangaro. Shout out to Munchakupas. Glad to see Shovel Knight low percent being run at a GDQ event. If Polar Knight is on top, save him, but don't you dare save Plague Knight. <laughs> I will need magic, so I'm going to pick up that, and that should be all I need. $50 from Anonymous. Hearing those puns made me have to donate so we don't take them for granted. <laughs> What's this glitch called? Uh, we don't actually have a name for it. I entered it as the reverse zipping glitch. Uh, you'll see why if I do it correctly. It, he showed it to us last night, and it's absolutely ridiculous. This game is not broken at all. Ever. No, there are no glitches whatsoever. <laughs> well, there are, but they aren't useful for speedrunning. <laughs> All right, we got $20, and I'm taking this challenge, so $20 from Michael Loxo. I had to donate during Shovel Knight, which has quickly become one of my favorite games. It blows me away that someone would even try to do something like this. I'll donate an extra $10 if the person reading my donation pronounces my last name correctly. So if I did... Got it. Yeah. Okay, so I rooted myself in place with the fishing rod, and uh, <laughs> bye. <laughs> <laughs> it, it gets better. It gets oh, better. That's just the beginning of it. Yeah. Is King Knight going to start jumping? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, there's more. 
So Mantra, why does this work? Um, what do you think? Oh, uh, the reason that, we don't know why the fishing rod part works, but the reason this part works coming up is because I'm going to get a double KO on the boss. However, the only double KO in the game where you'd ever fall off the map is uh, Propeller Knight. So, because I'm falling to my death where I shouldn't be, <laughs> what? Um, the music has stopped, the King Fetty's still there, uh, and I'm going, I'm underneath the level and I'm going backwards through it, and you're going to see some fun stuff in a moment. And here we go. <laughs> Look at all these screens. Whoop! <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, look, it's Chester. <laughs> What's up? Uh, <laughs> and it's this room. And now we're going to see it again. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you go outside of the camera bounds. I'm, I'm really familiar with that screen flying yeah, around when the camera <laughs> misplaced. <Yeah. laughs> that's awesome. Uh, for a normal Shovel Knight uh, physics, you can do this on Treasure Knight and Mole Knight as well. You can uh, do the same glitch on both of them. Mole Knight will actually just uh, jiggle back in place outside of his boss room. This is the first room of the level, by the way. Uh, and yeah, that's basically the glitch. But if you want to try it at home, all you have to do is use the fishing rod on screen transition, and uh, that's it. <laughs> and now we've soft locked. <laughs> well, we're not soft locked. I can still. Ah, uh, you can leave. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Muncha. That was an awesome one, man. That was super crazy. Yeah, just thanks for having me. Thanks to all the tech and staff for doing their work. Uh, thanks to all my friends that I've met. And thanks especially to my friend Arif at Omaroy Yankee for paying for my flight and allowing me to do this. So thank you very much. Thanks, Muncha. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah thank you so much, guys. It's been a pleasure thank talking you. to you. It was amazing. Thank you for watching. Thanks for the run, Muncha. That was really awesome.